Good morning, people. What's happening? It's a nice Friday morning, Salt Lake City, Utah. I got a good video for you today. How to stay motivated. What the components of motivation are. A lot of people ask me all the time, how do I stay motivated? How did I study for eight to 10 hours a day for like nearly a decade? And so I'm gonna tell you about that today. It's not quite as hard as you think when you think about it correctly. The thing that spurred this video was, I was watching a YouTube video. This guy had, was working out with Chris Hemsworth, right? Dude that plays Thor in all the Avenger movies. And he was asking him about his, his motivation to work out. And uh, Chris is jacked. Genetics help, let me tell you. You see this? Nothing, I got nothing, I work out all the time. So Chris said one thing that I really liked, and that was movement is motivation. And if you think about that, that's like every time you start doing something, you want to do more of it. You know, unless you're like running a marathon, running is terrible. Nobody likes running, so just kidding. That's a very, very true, um, I, I think, because when I look back and look back to those times I was not studying, I was not doing anything, the less I did, the, the less I wanted to do. And so I, really struggled those times because in addition, I had friends that didn't want to do anything either. And they just like lay around. I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to do like nothing. I don't want to study. I don't want to like pick up a book, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of people that talk about, you know, incremental movements and it, in sales, a lot of people talk about like, if you can get somebody to make a micro commitment to whatever it is like you're talking about or are selling, they're much more likely to go ahead and make the full purchase. So that's a kind of interesting concept if you think about like how our brains work. The reason this stuff works is because we like continuity. People love continuity. And this is actually probably why I get a lot of shit about my videos is because, you know, a surgeon is supposed to be a certain way. We're supposed to be very proper and academic and then I come on here and act like complete opposite. I don't act like this in front of patients, like, you know, I'm a normal person and a normal doctor in front of patients. And, and so since it, that's not congruent with, you know, the things that I do, like the, uh, there's an incongruity, people like can't, figure out what to do with that. Bringing back to the motivation, like once you start something, your brain wants to keep that congruity or continuity and continue with whatever it is doing. This is probably gonna be a really short video, but I think one of the answers to motivation is to have something every day that's a very small thing, that's a micro commitment toward your goal towards the thing that you need to do. If you need to read like four chapters or whatever it is, if you can just take out the book, put it on the table and tell yourself, all I'm gonna do is read the first paragraph, that's it. That'll take you, what, you know, 10 seconds. As soon as you start reading that first paragraph, there'll be something in there, that'll maybe, you know, spark your interest and you say, oh, well, I wanna know about more about this. Or your brain will start saying, you know, like, we have to finish this. Like it's congruency. This is actually, when Chris is talking about this, this is what I do basically. Every time I go in the gym, I'm like, I, I hate running, I don't want to run. And then I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna do a warm up, like just four minutes warm up. And I see the, the ticker thing, you know, and I'm like, uh, it's, I want to hit one mile. I want to be congruent. I want to like have that completeness. And so I do, I'll run one mile and then I'm like, two miles, I'm gonna run two miles today. And then I run two, you know, and, I, and sometimes it goes up to like four or five, six miles that I get just out of a four minute, deciding that I'm gonna do a four minute warm up. I think it's really important to have something in your brain that you're going to do, that it's like a micro commitment. And then, you know, sometimes you don't follow through and that's okay, but most of the time you probably will. I think if you have that micro commitment, then you'll have a lot easier time motivating yourself, kind of, it's not really, almost not motivation, but you're for forcing yourself to motivate yourself. Forcing yourself to motivate yourself. That was a, that was a sentence. Way to go, Parker. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff, you haven't, trouble uh, studying in high school or college, need to learn focus and motivation, how to stay in it for the long term. I have 
uh, video course about that. It's called secretstudyhacks.com. Check it out. It'll help you out if you're having having a difficult time. This is the same same problem I had. I, I did really poorly. I had a 1.7 GPA my second semester in in undergrad, and then I uh, figured out some tricks of the trade and uh, then started getting straight A's after that. Check it out, secretstudyhacks.com. As always, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one.